So team, today we're taking it back old school with a sneaker unboxing. And the sneakers that we're gonna be looking at today are the Nike Shocks in collaboration with CDG. Kia ora guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Daniel and I hope that you fellas are having a good day, dressing well, and of course, getting stuff done now it has been a minute and a half since i've done a sneaker unboxing i used to do them kind of quite a bit but it definitely has been a long as time so that's why today i thought we'd do a little bit of a throwback and bring one back if you do want to see more of these make sure you give this video a nice big thumbs up and also let me know in the comment section down below also guys make sure you do stay until the end of the video because i'm going to be doing like a mini uh lookbook with these shoes as well so Let's get into it, eh? So guys, like I said, the shoes that we're gonna be looking at today are the Nike Shocks, which are in collaboration with CDG. It's gonna be a nice, short, sweet video today, just going straight into the shoes, showing them on foot, and kind of telling you what I think about them. The shoes come in the standard black uh, slide-out box. I have pretty much just put these shoes back in just for this dramatic effect, because it makes it dramatic. -er. Then when we come on in, we have the bad boys right here. These are the Nike Shocks CDG edition. Uh, and first off guys, I'm just gonna tell you straight away, I absolutely love these shoes, I'm obsessed with them, I've been wearing them heaps, as you can tell on the bottom of the soles, and I just think they are such a vibe. These Nike CDGs were originally spotted at spring slash summer 2019 Paris Fashion Week. One thing to note about these shoes is that they were only sold in women sizes, so for myself, I'm a UK 9, a US 10, the size that I went for was a woman's 11, which is the rough kind of like conversion to go for. Before I dive into all the details about these beautiful shoes, we'll just do a little bit of a history lesson on the Nike shocks themselves. So it was actually back in 1984 when Bruce Kilgore, I think that's how you pronounce his name, actually started like to have the idea and putting in the research for these shoes. And then it wasn't until the year 2000 when Nike launched their first pair of Nike shocks. These shoes did cause a lot of excitement due to the new technology that was put into them. But it was really during the 2000 Summer Olympics when these shoes really got all the attention. And that was because of an athlete, Vince Carter, who played for Team USA, actually dunked over another player who was standing at seven foot one, which is just ginormous. And the shoes that uh, Vince Carter actually happened to be wearing was a pair of Nike Shock. Obviously with that, so many people saw them and then they became on high demand. Obviously since the year 2000, Nike has been releasing a lot. I'm gonna skip forwards all of those coming in straight into 2019 when they decided to team up with CDG. Now let's dive into the specs of these shoes. So as I said earlier, these shoes were first spotted at spring slash summer 2019 Paris Fashion Week. The shoes then did drop in Japan and then finally they made their way to Dover Street Market, which for London, they dropped on Wednesday the 12th of June. These shoes did drop in two colorways, the all black, which I have, and then also an all white pair with a silver chain. So the pair that I have are an all black upper. The shoes kind of have this all over distressing look, especially around the swoosh, the tongue, and up back by the heel. And then on top of that, there's this kind of like frayed finish, all throughout the shoe as well. It definitely still gives me that kind of like unfinished vibe that our Virgil did with his off-white shoes. Then when we come up onto the tongue, you can see the CDG and then the Nike Shock with the co-branding. Now definitely the main eye-catching part of these shoes is the jewelry that is placed on them. So what we have here is a detachable chain which is placed together kind of just like a necklace uh, which goes between the shocks. And all up guys, I have to say, I absolutely love them. So again, personally myself, I've just kept on one of the golden chains, but it also does come with the other one. Now some ideas that I have had, so obviously that's what they would kind of look like together for starters, uh, but the idea kind of that I had is that you could also turn this into a really, really nice necklace. Um, a few people have actually asked to purchase this from me but for now it's just going to stay in the box now what i absolutely love about these shoes is that you know you could go all out there with two chains you know they could be that really statement piece of your whole entire outfit or you can take it back a little bit like i have and you just go for the one it still does have that kind of subtle flex to it and then on top of that if you really want to play it low-key you can remove both chains and they'll just almost look like your standard nike shocks and then when someone gets up super close is when if they know you know they'll know and they'll see that you know it's the ones that in collaboration with CDG. I do think it's an all round great shoe purely just because they're black sneakers at the end of the day and black sneakers can pretty much go with anything. On top of that, really comfortable dad sneakers. They do have that little bit of chunky vibe, which obviously we all know is in right now. And especially the way streetwear and high fashion is going that you can really just merge these together. The recommended retail price for these shoes was kind of, in my opinion, a bit of a shocking 230 pounds, um, you know, for the collaboration and I guess the chain. Do I think they were worth that? 
no, because I don't think many shoes, especially some Nike Shocks, should be at that price. However, I'm kind of okay to pay that because I like them even more than I thought I did. And like I said, I've been wearing them so much. So if 230 pounds allows me to wear these for a long time, get a lot of use out of them, then I'm very happy. If you find yourself kind of on the fence for them, I would strongly suggest do not get them because if you're not gonna wear them all the time, you're just truly gonna waste your money. And there we have it guys, a nice chill unboxing, just doing a little bit of a throwback with it. Before I do leave you with that kind of like really mini lookbook right at the end, do make sure that you give this video a nice big thumbs up because it truly does help out the channel. And for those of you who are new, feel free to click that subscribe button because there's gonna be plenty more content to come. Other than that guys, I'll let you get back to doing you. Enjoy the rest of your day, keep dressing well, and I'll see you fellas next time. Peace.